Hey guys, um, so <laughs> I did not realize that it has been an entire month since the last time I did a video update. Um, things have been really crazy. Really. <laughs> um, I think the best way for me to kind of recap is to just start with the end of the school year. Um, in May, we wrapped up the kids' schoolwork. Um, I was busy getting ready for the littlest one's birthday party. He turned six. Um, about that time, um, maybe the month before, we found out that the owner of the house we are renting, um, that we have been renting for the last eight or nine years, um, he is interested in selling the property. Sorry. <laughs> um, he is interested in selling the property. And so he did not want to renew our lease. Um, but he also wasn't kicking us out right away either, thankfully. So, we, um, we started looking for a new place. Um, we had hoped that we were close enough with our credit, um, to be able to buy. Uh, a couple years ago, um, my husband was out of work for <laughs> about half a year <laughs> and um, it really affected our credit because we basically lived off of credit for six months. <laughs> um, and we just, we, we haven't quite bounced back from that. Um, we're getting there. We're almost there. Um, but unfortunately it meant we weren't close enough yet to be able to buy. So then we started looking for rental properties and oh my goodness, um, the rent that we pay now is roughly $300 less than what the market for this size house is. <laughs> um, Makes me really glad, but that also makes it really hard for us to move. So, um, we keep going back and forth between, um, actually considering moving in, um, with a family member, moving into a, a new place together and sharing some costs, um, and just pretending it's not an issue. <laughs> Um, and I realize that that's probably not, not a good idea. Um, but our landlord tends to be a little flaky. And so there is a very good chance he won't bother selling. <laughs> um, and we can make it through till next spring without any issues. Um... So we're kind of just biding our time and hoping he doesn't give us 30 days notice all of a sudden. Um, but we are setting money aside to pay deposits on the off chance he does. Um, so that's been a little stressful. Then in June, um, our daughter turned 13. And so we had a great big thing for her. Um, but during that time, um, the end of May into June, um, July so far, uh, I have been busy um, kind of bringing back our small business um, and selling things in order to raise those funds. Um, in order to take care of some costs that we had come up. 
uh, on top of that, I'll be teaching again this year for um, Summit Academy, which um, if you guys were around last year, those are my Tuesday classes. Um, I'm teaching again. <laughs> um, and so I have been busy preparing my lesson plans. I don't like to do lesson plans week by week. I like to lay out the entire year so that I am completely prepared and I don't have to spend um, my regular time during the week trying to come up with lesson plans. Um, this also lets me make sure that supplies stay within costs um, that I, I, I'm able to budget better. Um, and so I have seven classes <laughs> um, that it looks like I'm going to be teaching and I have six of them completely prepped and ready to go. The last one I have not done yet because um, originally it was supposed to be a science class for middle to high school um, and now it looks like I may be switching it to, um, I'll actually basically be taking over a class, um, for elementary students, um, teaching science experiments. And then the two students I had signed up for my science class will either have the option to drop or to join the elementary science experiments and then I'll give them additional information and homework to bring it up to their grade level. Um, so because that is still somewhat up in the air, I haven't gone through the work of creating the lesson plans for that yet. But that is, um, each class is 28 weeks. Each class, each week, it's a 45 minute class times seven <laughs> every week. For 28 weeks <laughs> um, so there's there's a lot of work that goes into um, gathering the information any visual aids I need planning the activities for the kids um, and then what I normally do is print them and put all the information into a binder and then those binders come to class with me in addition to any supplies we need for our activities um, or projects or anything. <sighs> then on top of that, this upcoming school year, I will have a first grader, a sixth grader, and a freshman in high school. So I had to figure out <sighs> the sites we were going to use, the curriculum, books. Um, Sister Bear had to figure out <laughs> um, she had to figure out basically that being a high schooler is a lot different. <laughs> um, but she had to pick her courses. Um, and then I had to find resources for her to use. Uh, I'm going to do another video. I won't say that it'll be this week. It'll probably be next week. Um, but I do have plans for a video to walk you guys through what each of them is going to be doing um, as far as subjects where we're getting our info um, the classes they'll each be taking um, field trips we have arranged um, kind of walk you through our school year I'd like to say I might get to it Thursday or Friday but it might be next week but it is on my list <laughs> um, so then the third kid just had his birthday party this weekend um, and so there was the prep getting ready for that so overall um, if we haven't had a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment if we haven't had something to go do <laughs> or a birthday party then I have been busy prepping lessons, 
um, busy working the business. Uh, then on top of that, um, at the beginning of July, uh, my husband and I decided we were going to put forth more of an effort to um, get chemicals out of our house. We have been using essential oils for um, about a year and a half now. And um, we just wanted to go a little bit further. The biggest thing stopping us was our budget. Um, extra money in the months of May, June, and July into August um, does not exist. <laughs> because I don't get my extra teaching money and we have birthday parties and so the end of May, June, July, beginning of August, very tight for our budget. Um, very, very tight. Uh, so um, an opportunity presented itself um, to where we could get the chemicals out, get natural products um, within our budget. And um, we talked about it and we decided uh, it was worth trying. So far, everything we've gotten, we've loved. Um, I can't wait until next month <laughs> when I get to um, order some more stuff. Um, so then a lot of the, um, I guess some of the folks following this channel probably don't know about our small business. Um, I make jams, jellies, pickles, salsas, those type of things, um, and sell them. I also seasonally offer baked goods, um, occasionally. <laughs> I don't really have much time for it anymore, but if I do have time, um, it's where I sell my artwork. And then, um, since we've been getting into the essential oils more and more, I've been making, um, products using those. So, I made a pain cream, um, which has made an amazingly huge difference with my fibromyalgia pain. Um, if it weren't for that cream, I would not be working as much as I am. <laughs> um, it, it really has been awesome. Um, then I made, um, I just recently made a homemade deodorant for the first time and homemade sunscreen which we are going to go try out tomorrow because for the second time this summer um we're going swimming with friends we've only been swimming twice this summer like i said the summer has been crazy um but yes so um been making all of these different products and everything and um really enjoying it really noticing a difference um in our lives and our health um and on top of the chemicals and natural products and everything um we're also making some dietary changes um <laughs> uh, which is not bad for me um, but everyone else in the house seems to be struggling with it just a little. So we'll see how well that goes. Um, then on top of all of that, as if that wasn't enough, because any of you that have watched this channel at all know that I'm insane. Um, the homeschool group, uh, is kind of gearing up for, um, a new school year. So I have been compiling the list of clubs and classes and everything. But we have also been working very, very hard for the last three or four months for our annual homeschool bash, where we gather local businesses and organizations that offer clubs or classes or field trips, um, those type of things. We gather them all in one spot. 
and tell all of the homeschool families about it. And um, it's basically a huge, um, huge, huge event. Uh, it makes money for our group that's used um, for other events like our winter party and our field day event at the end of the year. Um, plus, it's it's a, a networking communication opportunity for um, these businesses and organizations and for the homeschool families. Um, we get everybody in, in one place and, and they learn more about these, these companies, um, these organizations that they may have never heard of before. Um, several of the ones we've got coming this year, I've heard over and over again, I didn't even know they were there. Um, and so I have spent a lot of hours contacting um, almost a hundred <laughs> local businesses and organizations. Um, of course, we don't have that many actually attending um, yet. Uh, I have a feeling that as we continue to do this, um, it will grow and grow and grow because it has every single year for the last three years. <laughs> um, but this year we are expecting 200 local homeschool families to attend. Um, and we have, uh, I haven't counted lately, I think it's a dozen vendors. Um, plus information from several more that weren't able to attend but sent us information. Um, so that event is next weekend. So I have been swamped with the organizational logistics of making this event happen. Um, the Southeast Homeschool Expo is this weekend. So my husband and I have our annual date day planned. Um, we'll be attending and checking out some things. And I'm hoping to grab some information to be able to share at the bash. Um, and then, excitement, excitement. Um, my mom is getting to come to visit. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood, all of that, um, my niece is going to get to come with her. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am from Montana originally, and we now live in Georgia. That means there is over 2,000 miles between me and my family. And my mom comes to visit um, every year, year and a half or so. Um, it's, been, it's been a while this time. And, um, I have only spent time with my niece two or three times, and she is 11. She is the same age as my middle kiddo. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> um, so to have her be able to come with my mom and visit us and spend time with us is huge. And um, we are all, <laughs> we are all looking forward to it so much. The kids are beyond excited. Um, I am thrilled and I just, I can't wait to see her and have them spend time together and get to know each other. Um, and my mom and I have planned a lot of really fun outings um, little day trips with the kids. And then on top of that, um, we are taking our second vacation this year. <laughs> um, we went like six or seven years without taking a family vacation. And then we took one in January. Um, thanks in large part to the homeschool group that gifted us with a condo stay for, um, four nights uh and so when my mom made plans to come down to visit and started talking about bringing my niece um we put into motion um going to Myrtle Beach again and so we are actually staying in the same condos um and 
this time hopefully there will not be any snow or ice <laughs> and things will actually be open and we can actually go to the beach and do fun stuff um so it's it's just another huge thing that's happening um and it happens right before we go back to um regular classes every week um so it's nice to have the break right before because we I've been working like crazy for months <laughs> um, and really haven't had a chance to relax. But as soon as my mom gets here, that's the plan. We're going to relax for two and a half weeks <laughs> before um, we jump into schoolwork and classes every Tuesday and everything else. Um, I am sure that I will get video of um, the expo this weekend, of the bash next weekend, and of all of the craziness that will happen during vacation. Um, and I will try not <laughs> to wait a whole month before I do another video update, alright? Um, as usual, any questions? Um, about what I said in this video or about our plans coming up, um, any suggestions on what to do uh, in the Atlanta area um, with a whole group of kids, <laughs> um, any suggestions on what to do in Myrtle Beach, uh, feel free to throw those in the comments you guys. Any places that we just absolutely should go check out, um, let me know about them. And uh, that's pretty much the update, you guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will talk to you very soon, I hope. Bye.